Hello, and welcome to Pendulum, Divining and Dowsing with Lyman Holton. I'm Lyman Holton. It's nice to meet you. This is the first video of a new YouTube channel. I've just started with the name I just mentioned. In this series of videos, what I want to do is not the run-of-the-mill thing that I see on other um, pendulum channels. What I want to do is express the fact that I love working with pendulums. I have for many years. I don't have a PhD. I'm no psychic genius or anything like that. What draws me to the pendulum is something I read about many years ago. I'm sure you've heard of it too. And it's called the placebo effect. A placebo. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Basically, if you have some pills, say for example, there's some research, there's a disease of some sort that the scientists, the doctors are trying to cure, to experiment to see how well this new medicine works, they may get in a group of people, give half of the group the real pills, give the other half of the group not real pills, like sugar pills, but neither one knows what they're getting. And they all think they're getting the real thing. So the test goes on, the results come in, and it's common to find out that the placebo, the fake pills, get better results, make people well better than the, uh, the actual real medicine did. And the belief of that is because our mind is powerful. If we think something can happen, we can actually make it happen without realizing we're making it happen. Now that is what drives me to the pendulum. Oh. The almighty pendulum. A length of chain, light chain, a weight on the end of that chain. Mine are all star bought. I have about 20 of them. You can make your own out of hair, string, a, a, a washer, a ring, whatever you want. It's just a little weight on the end of a length of something that's light. Okay? You make a pendulum or you buy a pendulum like I do. Now, this effect, this placebo effect, that is so interesting to me when I think about the pendulum, because when you use a pendulum, you, with your hand, you're actually making it move. The movements of your hand, your arm, your wrist, your shoulder, right up the nerves and muscles that connect up into your brain are what makes it move, okay? It's not magic. Your hand is not totally 100% still, and by some kind of gift from the universe, it starts to move. Now, your hand is moving. So if you see my hand move, which you will, you'll see it move slightly on these videos. It's me doing my best job not to move my hand, because when you use one of these, you do not want to influence the results of your yes or no answer, which I'll explain yes and no in a moment. What you want to do is try to keep your hand very steady and ask a question. Now I could ask my pendulum, show me yes. But let me get it over here and show you the way I really hold them. Now this is my left hand. I'm left-handed. So that's just comes naturally for me to use my left hand. I do not like to have my elbow supported on anything when I'm using the pendulum. I like to have my arm free so that it can move easily. Now I have done it many times where my elbow was supported on a table and yes it works. But what I have found over time is it works better for me. Now a lot of people think that this pendulum is nonsense. It's just insane, right? How could you get answers from this thing? Well, you practice with it.
To start off with, what do you do? You ask it to show you yes and show you no. It can only answer yes and no questions. We can get deeper into other kind of questions you can ask, but simply, basically, yes and no questions. So if I ask my pendulum, and I can ask this verbally or just in my mind, show me yes. So this pendulum now is going to move in a motion that indicates yes. Now, as you can see, it is moving in a counterclockwise position. That means it's moving in the opposite direction that an analog clock moves, the hands on the analog clocks. Now, if I ask this to show me no, okay, what's going to happen is it's going to change directions, and now it's going clockwise. It's going in the direction the same direction as the hands on an analog clock. Now, for many people, it's exactly the opposite. Or, for a lot of people, yes would be like this, just forward and back, no would be left and right, or they'd have some kind of an oval thing going on here. It's different for you, it's different for me, but the basic idea is the same. So, what happened with me is, I have asked my questions many times. So for me, it's not a challenge to get a pendulum to move in a yes or no direction. The challenge for me is to not try to influence its movement. Now, if there is no answer available at the time, for whatever reason, the pendulum may just stay steady, not move. So. Yes and no questions. I keep my elbow suspended and my hand is going to move, but I try not to move it at all, if that makes any sense to you. Now, I talked about the placebo effect. So if your mind can heal something in your body, you think you're getting some kind of proper medication, to heal yourself, but the medication really isn't there. You're just getting a sugar pill, but you think it's that medicine, and you get better, you heal. That's your mind, because you think you're going to get better, you get better. You just don't realize you can do that. So, the pendulum, the placebo effect. With my mind, I'm asking a question, yes or no, for example, uh, is this video going to be a success? I ask my pendulum, is this video going to be a success? Now, it's going to show me yes or no, or it just isn't going to answer. So you wait for a moment. The longer you do this, the faster it all works. It takes a long time, and a, you know, several sessions of practicing to really get the feel of it. But right now, you can see that is showing yes. Okay, now, is this video really going to be a success? I don't know. Is a pendulum right? I don't know. But it's telling me it is right. And over time, you ask different questions and different questions. You can't just do this today. And then you come back in a few weeks and try it again, and you think, ah, still isn't working. No, it's something you have to tinker with, play with, work with, just about every day, but only for a few minutes. If you're going to learn a new language, you're not going to learn it all in one day. And then in a few weeks, you're going to come back and try to speak that language. You're not going to learn it all in one day, and you're not going to be able to speak it when you come back in a few weeks and try. Same thing with this. You practice with it and you get a feel for it. You begin to understand, you begin to trust yourself, okay? Now, I mentioned that you can make your own pendulum. I have many of them, I have about 20 of them. I just like them. So every once in a while I buy another one. Now this one is a smoky crystal. I have clear crystal ones. And this one is kind of a smoky crystal. You can see through it, but not 
like it was a clear, clear window, like a regular crystal is. And it doesn't matter what kind of stone you use, unless, or what object you use, unless it matters to you. To me, it doesn't matter. But it matters to me that it's a, a real store-bought kind of pendulum. That's what matters to me. To take a, a wedding ring and tie a little thread around it and use that, that would work. But for me, I wouldn't enjoy it like I do a real pendulum. Wow. Here's another one I've got. Like I said, I have many. I always try to get ones that look a little different than the others. Okay? There you've got that. That's jade. Now here we've got another one that probably shows up quite well. Right? You've got kind of a reddish colored stone. All right? They all do the same thing. Now some are heavier than others. You get something that's too light and it's like there's no momentum there to get it going. You get one that's too heavy and it's like it doesn't have enough oomph to keep to get it going. All right? Now here's another, a beautiful one. Isn't that a pretty crystal? I'm not sure how well you can see it, but very beautiful, kind of translucent. Here we go with this one. A different shape, right? Now this one's a little bit heavy, but let's see. If I ask this pendulum to show me yes, let's see if it'll do it. And there you go. It's going in the counterclockwise yes direction for me. Now, show me no. Okay, it's going in the clockwise for no. And if I ask it a question, for example, is it raining outside where I live today? Let's see if it'll answer that. Is it raining outside? in the town where I live. All right, now we're just swinging back and forth. Remember, it's the movements of my hand that's making this happen, but it's my thoughts overpowering my desire to hold my hand still that puts it in the direction that gives me an answer. And it's telling me no. And that's true. It's not raining outside where I live today. Now, you can ask very simple questions. To start off with, you should ask questions that you know the answer to. Like, you know if you have a brother, you know if you have a sister, you know if you have uh, three cousins, right? Ask yes and no questions like that or whatever other things, you know, do I live in an apartment? Yes or no. Do I live in a house? Yes or no. Whatever it is. Is my car three years old? Whatever, right? You know the answer to it. And then your task is to not influence it. You should be looking at that pendulum. Here's another one. You should be looking at that pendulum and you should be thinking, I wonder what the answer is. I wonder what the answer is. Not, yes, say yes, say yes, say no, say no. No, not like that. It's all practice, but I can affirm that it pays off. It's, it's just enjoyable, it's fun, okay? So, <clears throat> we talked about how to use a pendulum how a pendulum works, and you can get much deeper into this, but I don't want to go too deep into it and make you tired of me. So I'm going to cut off now, and I'll be coming back with more videos. If you give me some questions in the comment section, I'll answer them in my next video. If, uh, 
I come up with something that I think you should know that I forgot to mention about uh, pendulums, then I will mention them also. But the following videos will be primarily me asking some questions. And so will the following videos. And I think that will be rather fun. And some of the questions I'll ask would be ones that all of us could ask. And we'll see what we get for answers. And somewhere down the road, we'll find out what the truth is. For example, uh, is so-and-so going to get elected as president of the United States in the next election? Whatever. Okay? So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.